Welcome to Grand Prix SeaTac. That's short for Seattle Tacoma. Actually, the Grand Prix is in Tacoma, but we call it SeaTac because most people have heard of it. Okay, all right. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, 1160 people have come here to play magic and compete for the trophy. Let the games begin. This weekend, the players compete in limited formats. They don't bring their deck with them. They craft them on the spot, using their creativity and instinct like an iron chef, but with Moonvale dragons and unholy fiends instead of blue corn and salmon rub. What skills do you think you have that separates you from the average magic player? I think my sort of strongest skill as, as a magic player is, is my ability to sort of see the game in terms of the, the systems that make it up. Being able to predict what other people are going to play in a tournament and figure out you know, how to react to that. Uh, I come up with plays that you know some people don't necessarily see, knowing what my next five turns are and how to get to there, and then you know approaching it, I think I'm pretty good there. I think my memory is really good. Like I'll, um, after a tournament, I pretty much remember like every detail of every game I play. I think that like allows my learning curve to be a little bit faster maybe than other people's. I think that in um, formats that I'm not experienced in, I learn very quickly when I play. I'm very intelligent and uh, I have good confidence and I don't get like frustrated easily. I'm not like a super genius, I'm like pretty dumb. It's just I've just put in like the hours of just playing and, and, and learning the hard way through losing that it's just I don't know. I think I'm really good at being honest with myself. I think you have to know what you're bad at. You have to know what your biases are. Like part of magic is learning from your losses and your wins. And if you're not honest with yourself about what actually caused the loss, what actually caused the win, um, you're just not. You're not going to learn. So I think I am. I think I am good at that. Along with uh, Mary Jacobson and Jackie Lee, you're one of three women in the last four months to make top eight of an individual Grand Prix, more than in the last 15 years combined. Uh, I wanted to ask you, do you feel like you're a pioneer that may be the signal of a major influx of women into competitive magic? Well, a lot of people told me that, like, they, like a lot of women told me that they're playing more because of me and because I made top eight, so I guess so. I guess you could say that I'm a pioneer just because there have been so few, but I mean like that section in the Wikipedia article on the Pro Tour about like the gender gap, it's reaching the point at which, you know, you can't really have that section anymore and it's just going to become like more mainstream for women to play this game and it's not going to be so shocking. I really hope that um, more female Magic players like start coming to Grand Prix and stuff like that because a big issue for a lot of my friends is that they're scared of Grand Prix. This is just too intimidating for them. Um, and I'm hoping that once they see, you know, it's like, hey guys, look, you know, I top eight in one, you can do it too, you know? have an insane habit of dominating Grand Prix. What's your secret? I don't know. I mean, I, I think I'm just pretty confident when I play against people at Grand Prix level and it just makes it easier for me because I've played so many. What's Owen's secret to just dominating having Grand Prix? Having a 90% match win percentage on day one. Yeah. <laughs> He's extremely, extremely lucky. So I talked to your teammates about, you know, what they think your secret to success is. <laughs> they said that you're just incredibly lucky. They're Would right. You? <laughs> Absolutely, they're right. And that's what I would say if, if they would ask me. They'd be like, oh, what do you know? Well, I'm drawing better. My opponents are mulliganing. It's awesome. <laughs> this is actually pretty funny because I played around today, and the guy goes, we're going into game three, and he's like, hey, don't you hate it when people say good luck, when deep down you just want them to mull the five and get mana screwed and just win? And I'm just like, 
okay, um, sure. And then he opens up his hand and mulligans, and his next hand and mulligans. I'm like, dude, that's karma. You were asking for it. It's day two. Over a thousand competitors have been eliminated and 149 remain. The players now tackle the draft where they must build their decks by choosing cards one at a time from various packs, competing for crucial resources, and getting mere seconds to make pressured decisions that will seal their fate for better or worse. My head is spinning just watching them, so I think I'm gonna take a little break, catch up with some friends. Do you bring a lot of confidence to your game? Do you feel intimidated by the older players? No, I, I've, I'm always confident that I'm going to be able to play the best of my ability and uh, to the best of my skills. They don't really uh, scare me, if they're, even if they're like 20 years older than me. Do you feel as though people ever turn their head? You know, they sit across uh, from a 13-year-old kid and then, you know, they get beaten pretty bad. Uh, uh, does that ever surprise people? Yeah, sometimes it surprised people, but some people know about me, or uh, they played when they were 13, they know that you can be good, so then they know, but sometimes people just don't expect it, and they maybe keep a bad hand, and then I'll just beat them. This is James Wen and Henry Romero. They have made it to the top eight, which is the hallowed accomplishment of a Grand Prix. Uh, now, you guys are local guys. How do you guys feel about your chances now in the top eight? You got guys like Owen Turtenwald and Paul Rietzel who are some of the best players in the world. You feeling optimistic about your chances uh, going all the way? I feel pretty good. I mean, like, you still just got to play one play at a time. You know what I mean? Like, obviously they're going to make the right decision, but they're still just in their it's not, they're not like God, right? They're not going to know yeah. what's coming, so they're just in their player. It's like they only get seven cards in their hand just like us. Like, what really can they do that... I like this. See, this is the moxie you need to make it to top eight. Pick up your pack. You have five seconds. Draft. You should have three cards. You have five seconds. Draft. Lay out your pack to your left. You should have three cards. Pick up your pack. You have five seconds. Draft. Lay out your pack to your left. You should have two cards. Pick up your pack, you have five seconds. Does it ever get old making top eight, or is it a special accomplishment every time? No, it's definitely special. I mean, especially these days, you know, you've got 1,200 people, you know, many of which traveled many miles to get here, and they're all trying to beat you as hard as they possibly can. It's still an accomplishment. I'm not, I'm not Owen Turtonwald. I haven't taken it for granted yet. My plan, and it's not usually a very good plan, but my plan is to just kind of put them under a lot of pressure very early with these, with these cards, um, the, my, my aggressive creatures, and then drop one of these big monsters that hopefully they'll have exhausted their resources and not have an answer to. You repped Seattle pretty well this tournament. I'm hardest. Um, I think I kind of messed up game two. I'll go back and watch it under the camera, but it was, pretty, it was a good tournament. So, Robert, who are you and where are you from? I'm from Canada, despite the accent, uh, I was born in the UK, but I live in Canada now. I think I'm just a pretty average player who's you know, had his day in the sun, had some good luck. While your opponent was beating you down with birds and ghosts and things that fly, you relied upon the civilized scholar. It's very civilized in my deck because I only have about eight creatures, so I can't flip it very often. <laughs> but yeah, it was just great because I knew know if I can draw the right cards, then. I can eventually grind out any opponent and it 
the scholar helps you get the right cards. Congratulations, Robert Smith, winner, Grand Prix, Seattle, Tacoma. I'd like to say hi to my mum and thank you very much for paying for my airfare. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mum, for the airfare. He'll be home soon. I don't know, do you feel comfortable doing that? Uh, yeah, sure. Sure, okay, cool. Robert, did cool. You in yeah! I live Woo. in Campbell. All right. Ha 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 ha!